is how a uterus of a pregnant pig looks like, okay? This is the broad ligament, all of this stuff right here, all right? Now, if I, this outer thick covering is called the chorion, okay? Now, if I open up and look inside, this very thin covering on the inside is called the allantois, okay? Now, this is a fetus. So it has one, two, three, four fetuses in the uterus, right? Now this fetus has a covering on itself, right? This is called the chorionic vesicle, okay? And then this covering, if I open it, it has some juice and it's called the amniotic fluid. Amnion fluid, right? We're aware of that term? Okay. This is a fetus inside the chorionic vesicle. Okay. If you look carefully, this is the umbilical cord attached. Okay. So you need to know these terms. Umbilical cord, chorionic vesicle, amnion fluid, allen choice, chorion, broad ligament. Okay? Cool? Just keep on standing here, don't leave yet. This is a kidney. This is a kidney. This is the phyllus where we have the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter coming out and going into. Okay, when I cut open the kidney, I have this outer layer called the what? The kidney has two, it's divided into two layers, right? Any guesses? Okay, don't worry about it. The cortex and the medulla, okay? The outer cortex and the inner medulla, so you have to know this pretty easy the nephrons, which is the functional unit of a kidney, is literally each nephron starts from the cortex, but it keeps on going in and out. So it spans the whole kidney, okay? So cortex is the outer side, inner is the medulla, okay? That was pretty easy. Here's the heart. So this is the pericardium that she left out. Remember the pericardium that covers the heart, right? And all of this is all that tissue and muscle covering the heart, okay? It's a pretty strong muscle. Now, I like how Deborah did this and she kind of labeled everything. So this is the front side of a heart and this is the back side. So the back side has the inferior um, vena cava, the pulmonary artery, so if this is the front side and the back side, here's the superior vena cava down here. So what I want you, what I want you all to do is come up with your lab with the external anatomy of the heart part out and go through all of these structures on your own, okay? So if you do it on your own, you kind of have a better idea of what is what. Now this is a heart cut open. Okay, now, these muscles we see over here, these are the chordae tendinae. Remember the chordae, anyways, the chordae tendinae is the muscular tissue that pulls to open or close the valves, right? So, the right atrium has the Bicuspid valves and the semilunar valves, right? What's that? The heart. My hand. What's that? The tricuspid valve is on the right. That's the semilunar and the tricuspid. Which one's the right one? Tricuspid is on the right. Okay. So the right atrium has a tricuspid valve. Very good, Stephen. And these are the valves. These things right here. So the strings are the chordae tendinae. These are the valves. Okay, similarly, the left one has the bicuspid or the semilunar valves, all right? So it's called tri because it has one, two, and the third one out here. And this is bicuspid because it only has two valves, okay? And that's all you need to know.
about the heart. So I want you to come up with your labs out and check out, identify each of these tubes and where they, the blood, the blood vessel openings, identify them on your 